Hi guys, so I wanted to talk a little bit about like what I feed my ferrets and why I feed, choose to feed like what I feed and stuff and why you should be careful when choosing a diet for your ferret. So here's a little Percy for you. And um, I didn't know a lot about like what ferrets needed to eat before I really started researching. So, hi hey Percy. Um, I started reading and I found out like some foods just even though they're marketed towards ferrets, like, they're really not that great. So, um, I decided that when I first got Wesley, I wanted to feed him. After I read some more, I decided on, um, this is 8-in-1 Ultimate, and it, it's the crunchy. I know, they make another one, and it's the soft moist, and the ingredients really, really, uh, aren't that great. So, what you want to do, like, when you pick a food... So you have to look at the, the guaranteed anal analysis, and this is, um, protein is 45%, uh, fat is 16%, fiber is 3 and the moisture is 10 Now, the one thing I don't like about this food is that the fat is really low. I think after reading more, I found out that really you want your protein to be, like, 20%. So I try to supplement that with two of my other foods that are a little bit higher in fat. And I also learned too, you can't just look at the protein number. You also have to look at the ingredients because sometimes manufacturers will uh, use like vegetable ingredients and grains and stuff to boost the protein. And that's not doing anything for your ferret because they can't digest anything but meat. So no fruits, no vegetables, grains, nuts, milk, and sugar. So, and actually, some feeding these items, I guess, is thought to lead to um, insulinoma later in life, which is a cancer of the pancreas. So, it's really important to feed a high-quality diet. So, I don't know if you can see, but um, the ingredients in this is chicken, chicken meal, rice, chicken fat, chicken digest, and raisin juice. That's the first one, two, three, four, five. That's the first six. And I like that the first two ingredients are meat-based. I'm not crazy about the third one being rice, and I really don't like that the raisin juice is included. But I like that it doesn't have any corn, and the only grain it has in it is rice. When I look at a food, I tend to look at the first six, because when food is uh, made, uh, they have to label the ingredients according to weight, just like they do for human food. So those, that chicken and chicken meal is making up a pretty good proportion. And then the chicken fat. So that's the first food I feed. And it comes in like this star shape. I don't know. It looks like this. That's about how big the pieces are. Those funny little stars. Now I've heard about other people having the shape get stuck in their ferret's mouth. But I've never had a problem with my guys. So I just keep an eye on them. And then the next food that I feed, I really like. It's actually a cat food. Now, I know there's a lot of debate about this. Now, I feel that since ferrets and cats are both carnivores and their nutritional needs are very similar, that uh, feeding cat food can be perfectly acceptable as long as it's high quality and it meets the criteria that I set forward, which the protein, the fat, uh, less than, not too much fiber, and it has a lot of meat-based ingredients. Now, this is Nature's Variety Instinct Grain-Free Duck Meal and Turkey Meal. And you can see here it's 75% pure animal ingredients and 25% vegetables. Now, I know Nature's Variety has a couple other versions. They have, um, I think, a rabbit and a chicken. I think the chicken one has a little bit more... Um, a higher percentage but I just have the duck since I already have a chicken flip based food that this gives a little more uh, variety to their diet so the back of this one is where is it um, here's the guaranteed analysis um, protein is 40% which is great uh, fat is 20 so it helps balance out that low fat in the other food and the fiber is only 2.5 which is great because I try to stay at it um, below 3 so and then the ingredients in this one is duck meal duck meal turkey meal chicken meal herring meal chicken fat and then the sixth ingredient is tapioca so basically out of the first six ingredients five of them are meat based which is excellent 
And the tapioca and some of the following ingredients are only there as like a binder because you can't really make a kibble without a binder. It, it would just, you know, fall apart in the mush. So I really like this. My ferrets have done really well on it. I haven't, none of them have ever like not liked it. So I've been really happy with this food. And then the last food, it's also a really good food. Um, it's Wellness Core. It's also for cats. It's a grain-free formula, too. Um, it's guaranteed analysis. It's really small. Um, it has 45% protein, 18% fat, and 3% fiber. And the ingredients are deboned turkey, deboned chicken, chicken meal, whitefish meal, herring meal, and peas. So what are the first one, two, three, four, five, six, again, the last one is peas, which is mostly there for a binder. Now, I know ferrets can't digest um, fruits and vegetables, and sometimes you'll read further down into the ingredients, and you'll see, you know, like cranberries or something like that. A lot of those are just there for vitamins that ferrets need, and I'd rather see, you know, blueberries on an ingredient list than something synthetic. So just, it's food for thought. It, that's just... You know how I feel about it. I mean, other people may feel different, but and it's really up to you what you want to feed, but something to keep in mind. So, and then um, one of the foods I want to add, hopefully someday, is um I don't have an actual picture of the bag, but this is um it's by Y Song. It's called Y Song Ferret Epigen 90, and as far as I've heard, this is one of the best foods you can feed your ferret. Um, I also read that it is uh, the first starch-free kibble, so not only is it grain-free, but it's completely starch-free too. And you can see um, the guaranteed analysis, the crude protein is 60%, which is just, that's amazing. The crude fat is 20, it has a little bit more fiber, it's 3.5, but I mean, when, when you read the ingredients, it's just like, oh, it's awesome kibble. Um, it's organic chicken, chicken meal, chicken fat, chicken giblets, gelatin, and then it has apple for a source of fiber. And, uh, um, I have to add this one just to see because I've heard really good reviews about it, how good it is. Um, so hopefully sometime in the future I can add it. It's really expensive. It's like $18 for a three pound bag, but the better quality you feed your ferret, the less they need to eat. So, and just to kind of prove that point, when I got Bandit, I'm not sure where he is, is he in there? No, that's Wesley and Percy. When I got Bandit, he was being fed, um, this food, it's also by eating one, and I think sometimes people confuse it with this food, because it's also by eating one. This is eating one Ultra Blend Select, um... This is what Bandit was being fed when I got him, and this is just not really an ideal kibble. A lot of people think, like, oh, since there's a ferret on a bag and it says, you know, complete nutrition, that it's okay for ferrets. Um, thanks, Percy. But it's really not. You have to, if you look, like, the pr protein's 35, and that sounds great. And the fat's 15, and as we know, that's a little low. Then we read the ingredients, and the ingredients are chicken meal, which is good, corn, not good. Rice, not good. Corn gluten meal, not good. And then animal fat. Now, fat's not necessarily a bad thing, but I don't like to see unspecified fat, like animal, instead of poultry, because we don't know what kind of animal that fat's coming from, and does that, you know, how do we know that it's consistent from batch to batch? So I was not happy with that. And then you can see after that it has corn oil, dried eggs, molasses like why does the food need a sweetener ferrets don't need sweetener and then there's beet pulp another filler i mean it's just more fiber for them so i mean this food is great because it's cheap but for your ferret's health it's really not uh when bandit came to me he was on this food he was also on another it was a kt brand i don't have the statistics for that food um but it, it he was just he was really thin, kind of scrawny looking. Like, I, I was used to Wesley, who's like, there he is. He's like three pounds. Well, he's lost some of his winter weight, but so, but he's almost three pounds, and he was like fat and shiny. And I get Bandit, who's like tiny and really small, and he, oh, he stunk. And like, 
his poo was just disgusting. It smelled. So, um, a lot of people seem to not know this, but, um, like, the more food, the better quality food you feed, the less they have to eat. And since they're digesting so much more of the food, they're pooping less. And since it's higher quality, their poo also smells a lot, lot less. So, um, not only do you get the benefit of having less poo, it doesn't reek either. Like, I don't think I want to show you, like, what their litter box looks like, but honestly, it, it could fit on, like, a teaspoon. Ta maybe a tablespoon, but, I mean, you get the idea. So, eventually, I want to switch, like, from kibble, maybe at least keep some kibble and go to partial raw. That's what this is here. I need to read up a little bit more about switching. This is just a soupy that I made. Um, I bought some commercial raw by Nature's Variety. Um, it was just Nature's Variety of frozen raw chicken medallions. And you just put them in the fridge and let them thaw for a couple hours and then take them out. And you can mix them up plain. Or I added a little bit of water and some ferritone to try and get my guys to eat it. Oh, thanks, Wesley. But, um, I hope to do that, because I've just been reading a little bit more about raw feeding and how, how good it is for ferrets. So, look at him. He's destroying my bookshelf. How good it is for ferrets, and, you know, how much healthier they are. And I think, you know, since, well, I got Wesley. He's a year old, and I got him from a lady who was feeding him grocery store cat food. That's another thing. If it comes from a grocery store, like Walmart... It's probably not a good food. I had a look at Walmart at one of the food, ferret foods that they had there. And it was basically all corn and it actually had fruit, like dried fruit in it, which is just horrific. I can't even think, like, who would think, like, this is a good food to feed a ferret. And not only can't ferrets digest, like, fruit and stuff, but if you're feeding that, uh, you have to watch out. Because since they can't digest it, you can actually, they can get a blockage from it. So... Just something to think about. Um, but I want to switch them to raw. Probably not raw prey. Like mice. I don't think I can do mice. But at least, you know, either commercial raw or like chicken and chicken bones and stuff. Yep. And this is what they do. You can see too. Wesley. Wesley likes this one so much. He's always stealing the bag. Here. So. I hope that helps you guys out a little bit when, you know, choosing a kibble. And there are other good foods out there. I mean, there are other good ferret foods and there are other good cat foods that you can feed. These are just the ones that I feed and the ones that are most available to me. So, I mean, check out what's in your area and, you know, if you see a food that you want to feed or hear about a food that you want to feed but you can't find it, you know, it's always worth asking, you know, the store to see if they can order it in for you. I know some pet stores, they're really accommodating about like when you want to order food and stuff so check that out and see so i mean it might not be cheap but it's better for their health in the long run so that's my video about ferret food i hope i helped you guys out today thanks